three, two, one. All right, let's get into this intuitive reading, this intuitive message for B-Love's life. This reading is a legend and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes it's he is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Man, what's up? Okay, so I am trying to get these readings out. I'm doing personal readings and y'all are coming at me quick and I love it. So let's get into this reading for B-Love's life. I'm trying to catch up because I kind of get a lot of requests a day and I'm just trying to, you know, put it in order and follow spirit. Spirit will be like, yeah, let's do that one. So we're going to do this one. All right. So when it comes to beloved's life, there is a um, um, big swirl of communication in regards to emotion. And she's looking at people and she's pointing fingers. But I've always said, hey, 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 hey. When you point one finger, three fingers, four fingers, point it right back at you. So you got to be able to, if you can dish it, you can take it. But if you can't stand the heat, get up out grandma kitchen, okay? So suffering, fools, disdain, displeasure, contempt, poking fun. Understand that because Spirit says she is poking fun. And read between the lines. Spirit is saying subconsciously this has to do with her energy about two peas in a pod. Soul partnership, resonance, true love, mirror match, res uh, blessings, and a life mate. This is a water sign energy here. Could be emotional or just could be a water sign element. But this has to do with this. Like how people are looking at her relationship and how she's looking back at other people like na 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 na. That's just what's coming through. Um, but in the middle of the deck, spirit is acknowledging that there is a storm. Okay? And this is what we're not seeing. And every time I read on her, when it comes to her relationship, there is a storm. And, and this storm is pressing. It is pressing. It is pressing. Because every time I read on you, spirit is acknowledging uh, the truth shall, shall set you free. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so get in an alignment. This is what the cause of the storm is to get you in alignment. Strong momentum, sudden change, necessary shake up, transformation, and hope. I say to the ancestors, I say to the universe. There's something else in the middle of the deck. Let's see real quick. Boom. <laughs> Spirit said, if that ain't truth, Grace ain't groceries. And if you know my readings, you already know I see that card. It'd be like, girl, please go on now. I said what I said. Anyway, so B loves life's current energy. What's the see? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Um, that she's very busy. She's stressed. There's delays, time management, feeling rushed. Um, and this has to do with getting a room, hotel, motel, suite, business, and pleasure. So are you doing this? It always comes out. Sending you love and light. Spirit is saying she be smoking one. Just chill out. Like, <sighs> she got to remind herself, like, let me chill. Because this information right here can't escape it. Current energy for B-Love's life. We do have the empath in reverse. A woman and her son. The empath in reverse, overwhelmed, not feeling like yourself, dark empath, negativity, distance, overburden, ignoring feelings, energy, vampire, kindness for weakness, dislike of crowds. Now, why would you, why are we resonating like that? All right. He loves life. Moving in love and light. I shade to the ancestors. I shade to the universe. All right, so we do have an energy of her having strength on the surface. Like, you know what? I'm going to be strong. Compassion, sacrifice, healing, resilience, bravery, and courage. On the bottom of the deck with the Nine of Wands, she is fatigued. So she's showing you one face, but on subconsciously, she is tired. Okay, exhausted, guarded, wounded, learning from the past mistakes and setbacks. In the middle of the deck with the Ten of Swords. This is because of her bitterness, of failure, enemies, curses, dead end, violence, physical, spiritual attack, victim consciousness. These swords are eating her up. Her thoughts are keeping her up. She's filled with anxiety, riddled with it because there's this thing about I don't know when it could happen any moment. I don't know what that means. OK, I just read the cards and I read these cards upright. OK, um, the spirit is saying that you're, you need to seek balance, that you need to go in front of a judge or you need to go um, in front of some type of counsel um, to get some help. Marriage and your marriage, politics, government, institutions, beliefs, religion, tradition. They want to they want you to come and they want you they want to talk. They want to talk to both of y'all. 
I mean, this is just the energy. Like, when I get the Hierophant, it makes me feel like court. Makes me feel like judge. Makes me feel like bishop. Like, going to get counseling. Going to get assistance. All right? And like I said, I read that deck um, upright. So don't leave me no messages like, why you? Because I read that deck upright. That's the ancestors. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway. Um, thank you, spirit. Okay. So we have certainty in reverse. We also have two-faced in reverse. Well, be loves life. You box yourself inside a poor illusion, cursing your cravings away, doubting your ability to be secure, speaking ill on your lucrative potential, aiming for opportunities that are below your standards. Your health is in danger. The stress will create a cancer that is awfully hard to cure and get rid of. Your needs are being are tired of being neglected. Your needs are being tired of being neglected. Wow. Spirit was just... Mm -hmm. Let me scoot back a little bit. Wow. Cindy, you love and like. And then we got two face in reverse, if I can find the page. <laughs> you are capable of turning your feelings off and on at the drop of a dime. You are fickle when it comes to commitment. You seek validation from others, unsure of yourself, unsure of your truth. You are too insecure to stand alone and to make the hard decisions that will change the course of your life. Due to the lack of faith, you have become too inconsistent. Do you want more for yourself or not? Your mind is muddled and disorganized. Soon, you'll have to make an unwavering choice to practice discomfort, trusting that the impact will be transcendent. I mean, I already said that. Spirit said at the beginning, the truth shall set you free. Why I can't say it, y'all? Shall set you free. So, do it. <laughs> All right. Look at spirit. All right. Spirit is acknowledging for B-Love's life. We do get solitude. I am comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul. Water sign energy could be water sign element, could be very emotional. Meditation is required when you are when you receive the solitude card as a sign. Empty your mind of, of exhausting thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your whole being. This is not an ad advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it is a period for a conscious retreat what's called for now is to step back and take your focus off of your life and your troubles you'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out once you've replenished your energy by means of much needed rest and time out spirit said time out but they want you to know that you have to call you have to blow the whistle see mm. And then we have storm fields in reverse. Now is not the time to engage in any activity that brings unwanted chaos or drama into your life. This kind of storm can be destructive and you will regret your actions later. Hurtful words will be carried on the wind and bring a tornado of betrayal, anger, and unnecessary angst. And we are see a tornado at the beginning. Find shelter. Stop. Spirit said, find shelter. Evacuate. This turbulent weather will pass and your house will be untouched. Say no to drama. Wait till the storm blows over. Only then will you be heard. Get your house in order. All right. Be love's life. Moving in love and light. I straight to the ancestors. I straight to the universe. Look at all of this. What's Spear got to say? They're saying that there is abundance and new money and new business and new investments, foundation, money. Okay, Spirit is saying with the Four of Cups, so emotionally, you're dealing with missed opportunities, regret, daydreaming, nostalgia, meditation, second time, and refusing offers. Spirit is saying with the Seven of Swords, you've ignored red flags, and there is a confession coming out that you've been outsmarted with the Seven of Swords, air sign energy. Spirit is also acknowledging with the Five of Pentacles that you're seeking security and paying debts and improving finances because of these red flags. Flags. You are nervous about this energy, my dear. You feel very manipulated, abused, and um, of a dangerous man. The king of swords, air sign energy. Have you tried to pay this person to be quiet? Spirit is also acknowledging that you're lying to yourself. You have blocked intuition and that the secrets are going to be revealed. Either you're going to do it or they're going to do it, okay? But Spirit said that's the moon in reverse. You're not ready to face your feelings. You're not ready to really say what it is, okay? And Spirit said it's going to create a financial mess. A loss and poor financial decisions uh, with the two of pentacles because you're not going to have balance in there. You're going to have to conform where naturally you'd be a non-conformist around this energy. Spirit said this also gives you low confidence. It makes you feel cold and a mean girl. 
in the area of passion, also in the area of business, fire sign energy, passionate and chaotic. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit said this has to do with our intimate relationship. Yep. <sighs> Balance, making a choice, soulmate, sex, and a partnership. Spirit said, you know what? You won't have to deal with that. What's be love's life? Biggest obstacle. I read biggest obstacle in reverse. Um, a lack of direction, memory loss. Did you forget something? Uh, and a wrong decision. Ace of Swords. That was thoughts, negative thoughts. With the Knight of Swords, Spirit is acknowledging. Um, I read biggest obstacle in reverse. That you're unfocused. There's a bully again, a missed opportunity. Second time we hear that. Okay. Spirit is also acknowledging manipulation, abuse of a dangerous man. With the King of Swords, air sign energy negative thoughts nine of wands spirit is acknowledging that you're you feel like you're giving up due to paranoia and stubbornness in the area of passion also in the area of business passionate but chaotic fire sign energy and with the moon card in reverse spirit says again that you've been lying to yourself blocked intuition and there's going to be some secrets re revealed i say to the ancestors i say to the universe what's next lying to yourself blocked intuition revealing secrets that's what's next uh four of wands this is going to affect your home subconsciously okay hmm middle of the deck spirit says that you are growing up that you're letting go of the past and you um could even acknowledge that there was some child abuse or some kind of neglect as a child and this is a wound that you haven't healed yet and it could be the foundation for why when you do not make proper choices you make these choices because there's something that needs to be released and um, it holds you back. And it's something that you refer to when you feel like this. Does that make sense? All right. I say to the answers. I say to the universe. This reading is alleged and for entertainment. Ooh, what you say, spirits? I'm in the middle of the deck. <laughs> Said you're going to continue to make money because you're an independent woman. Wealth and thriving business pregnancy does come out. This could be a manifestation. Or is an actual pregnancy in your energy field? All right, spirit. Thank you. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.